What's going on, guys? It has been a while. Uh, I haven't really been making videos because I've been uh, recovering. If you follow me on uh, Instagram or anything like that, I broke my ankle in March, in the middle of March, so I uh, haven't been walking. Well, I, I'm kind of walking now. I've got crutches and I can walk on it. So I haven't really uh, bought many back issues, just trying to keep up and read with the new stuff. Uh, but I decided this was a good time to do some videos that I've kind of wanted to do about my collection. And I just haven't had a chance yet. As you can tell, I also haven't had a chance to go to the barber or anything. I'm looking pretty, pretty scruffy here. So I apologize. Um, anyway, we're already minute. I haven't even said what we're doing for the video. We are, I was going to show off, uh, I want to show off my collection, and I figured I would start with the first box, which is a small box, which is variants, uh, and I keep all my variants in a separate box. Uh, most of the time, a lot of the newer variants, I have the normal cover as well, so that's why I separate them, they're not in the normal run. Um... Yeah, so I thought that would be cool to do. Uh, so we'll just kind of start off with it. Uh, they're kind of in order, I think. It's been a while since I've gone through them. Uh, so the first one is uh, the Incredible Hulk six, number 602. This is the Marvel Superhero Squad uh, variant. Uh, I've got the normal cover for this one, too. Uh, sorry. Just fixing it in the bag there. I love this cover, though. If you're familiar with the uh, Superhero Squad, like the games, uh, I play it for Wii, uh, and they've got on the other stuff too, as well as the show. So everybody, everybody is small there. Uh, Gold Iron Man, uh, Miss Marvel, Thor, Wolverine, Falcon, and uh, Grey Hulk. So that is the first one. And then I believe all most of these, yeah, are these are Scotty Yuns I picked up. I uh, just went series. Sorry, the the box put a little bend on these all, so I need to flatten them out. Not that many of these are worth a lot of money. Uh, so this is the Mighty Avengers number one, the Scotty Yun variant. Um, I pretty much went the full length of the series. I think I'm only missing the last couple issues that I'm just gonna pick up. In like dollar bins. Uh, then we have the variant edition for Avengers AI. Uh, most of these, in fact, all of these, I've never paid a ridiculous amount for the Scotty Youngs. Most of these are the are the mass published ones, so they were just cover price. I refuse to pay a crap load of money for Scotty Young stuff. But a Avengers AI, I was sad when this series ended because I was a uh, I was a fan. I'm a fan of Hank Pym. And then we have uh, the superior foes of Spider-Man, the Scotty Young. Um, yeah, this this was actually one of my favorite Spider-Man series of all time. I'm a huge uh, Nick Spencer fan. Uh, I'm really enjoying his uh, Ant-Man run right now. And then this is the only one I think I paid... Uh, uh, odd amount for uh, this is the Superior Spider-Man number one Scotty Young um, my, I always was interested in but my shop always wanted like 10 bucks for it and I waited and waited and it sat there and sat there and finally I guess they were just trying to get rid of it and I got it for th two or three bucks they marked it down to so I grabbed it uh, I, I, I don't even know what those Scotty Young ones are worth, really. And then we have, uh, I feel like these are kind of out of, here, I'll put them in order. So we'll start with this one. This was, uh, I was like, why is it so thick? But just the book was thick. I thought maybe something happened. There was two books in there. But nope. So this was, uh, Infinity from the big Infinity event, part one of uh, six. I love that, where they're playing the Thanos arcade game. And then 
part two of six, so we got Thanos there. These are all Scotty, and then this was my favorite one from that series was a uh, part three of six, Black Bolt uh, yelling and Thanos being declothed by the yelling. Now that was the only Scotty Young ones I got for that, because the rest of them my shop ended up not getting, and so uh, I'm sure I could have got them, but they would have wanted some more money than I was willing to pay. So then we have a uh, variant. Uh, this was just, I kind of picked it up. I was really a big fan of this. Uh, this is issue number five uh, for Afterlife with Archie. I love that uh, Betty. Is it? Yeah, this one's Betty. Love that Betty cover. So I had to grab that. And then also in my variant box, I throw it in like uh, any of the stuff. Uh, Issues that they put out for free. So we have the amazing Spider-Man. Who am I? I've never even... Uh, I've never even read this. Uh, Detective Comics number 27. The special edition. So this had... Uh, the old... The original issue number 27 in it. And then these were the free preview books Marvel put out. So this was like January 2014, where they're showing off Avengers World. <clears throat> Sorry, throwing them back in the box as we go. This was uh, February 2014, the Fantastic Four. Uh, I think that was when they rebooted it or something. And then March, April 2014 is when the uh, Iron Fist comic was coming out. Uh, this is kind of a random one. Uh, it's in not amazing condition, but I paid like 25 cents for it. And I actually own the actual cover to it. But uh, this was True Blood issue number three. This was cover B with the with Eric on it. Um, I only own a couple True Blood comics. I don't really read them. I originally picked them up for my wife, and she wasn't very interested in it. So... It is in my box now. And then we have, I know these are all in this order. Uh, this series, I loved, I loved uh, this series. So I bought all the normal covers and the variant covers. So issue number one of uh, What If Age of Ultron. We've actually got two copies of this. And I'll show it off when it's done, but... This is, I based a tattoo I'm working on right now of Ultron, and this is what it was based off of with personal twists. And then we had uh, issue number two. Sorry about the glare. Issue number three. I really, really enjoyed the series, and I loved all the covers. Issue number four. And the last variant, uh, this was probably, next to the first one, my second favorite, issue number five, so, with Ant-Man carrying off the, uh, carrying off the head of Ultron. And then, up next, you know what? I knew that was gonna happen. That's my, uh, second copy of that one, let me plop that in there. So, next up, let's see if we can get these in somewhat of order. Uh, yeah, I think they're in order. So, uh, while Hickman was on it, I, uh, I stayed on God is Dead. Uh, I was really loving the series. I just wasn't willing to commit when he left to a bi-weekly series and him not be on it. But I did pick up uh, all the End of Days variants as well as the normal covers. So, this was issue number one. Issue number two. Issue number three. Issue number four. Issue number five. Issue number six. And then this is kind of my, uh, my baby. I paid $20 for it. I ordered the preview books. 
Uh, it's got like the stamp on the back. I've never taken it out. And I don't know if you'll... Yeah, you can see it. So this is God is Dead number one, the blue foil. They only made 100 copies. And it's gorgeous. It's uh, white leather. So it's actually... The cover is leather. And like I said, it's never been taken out of the package. But I... I love this book. I was, re I was really big on that series, so... And let's get all these together. So next up is when we hit Bombshell Month. Uh, I basically got them for all of the uh, comics that I pull. So I got the normal covers and the variants. Like I said, that's how it works with most of this stuff. Um, so issue number nine of Superman and Wonder Woman. I love this cover uh, with... Supergirl and Wonder Woman on it. Then issue 32 of Superman. Issue number 32 of Batman. Issue number 32 of Green Lantern. This is probably... Next to Superman, uh, Wonder Woman, this is probably my next favorite bombshell cover that came out and in third it would be action comics number 32 and then after that we got into a uh, selfie month so uh same kind of deal i only picked them up for a series i was collecting so the ever funny action comics 34 where he's taking a picture of him saving the cat. Issue 34, a Green Lantern. 2814 is number one. Number 34 of Superman. This is probably one of my least favorites of the selfie covers. Uh, issue number 11 of Superman and Wonder Woman. And then this one, I think everyone got a kick out of this one. Uh, that was issue 14 of the Batman Superman. If I don't remember, like, for the first couple weeks, this was actually... People were paying money for this on eBay, which is weird because my, my comic book store probably still has copies of this. We had so many copies of this, no one was buying it. Just a little, little story for you. And then uh, we went into... Uh, Halloween monster month uh, I didn't get all of them I only ended up getting two I got the Batman Superman one that I really enjoyed as uh, werewolves and then I got and that was issue 15 and this is issue 12 of uh, Superman Wonder Woman I, uh, I love that that was my favorite one of the of the month so I the I'm flipping these so I don't even know what they look like so, then uh, this one I picked up in Halifax when I was visiting Nova Scotia, and that is The Amazing Spider-Man uh, number one. It's the variant cover where it actually has a Halifax clock tower in it. It was uh, for Strange Adventures, which is a comic, comic book store. You can see the sign right there. Um, the only issue with it, it goes for more than five bucks, but there's like tape. Stripping up, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. There's tape stripping going on there, as well as there. Uh, but other than that, I just kind of wanted it because it's cool. I'm from Nova Scotia, so it was cool to get the variant uh, with Spider Man fighting in Nova Scotia. And then uh, I picked up this. I don't pull this series, but I'm a huge Alex Ross fan, and that's number 37 of Life with Archie. Um, this I got for cover price and I just kind of got it by chance. I forgot to order it and I was really sad about that. And then I got to my comic book store uh, when the comics came in and this was the last copy left of it. So I got it for cover price and I was happy I didn't have to try to track it down. And then I got this issue number 13, Superman Wonder Woman. Um, I hate the Lego variants. The reason I have this is um, there was an issue with this issue where they, uh, I guess, DC shorted a bunch of places 
uh, number 13. So I didn't, I got it like a month late. So, but they did get this variant cover in. So they just gave me one of these to replace the normal cover till it came in. So that's how that worked. And then uh, we'll start with this. I don't pull this series anymore, but uh, yeah. But I did uh, when it first came out. Uh, that was Jeff Lemire, his run on Justice League United. But uh, for the first five issues, they had variant covers because it was set in Canada. So it was Justice League Canada. So I got, uh, I have all those, like, number one, number two. And then I also got, uh, I do love this one. I forgot about this one. Issue number two, I did get the Bombshell variant of Starfire. Then number three, Canada variant. Number four. This was the selfie cover for number four. And then uh, number five. And that was actually, I think that was the last issue I got of that series. All right. And uh, up next, these next three were presents. Uh, my wife's parents were in the UK, so they brought me home uh, some comics and it was actually good because I've looked at these before and they some of them are kind of pricey. So they got them for like a 50% off sale. So I got the uh, limited edition number two variant of Secret Invasion. I saw the stickers and everything. I haven't taken them out of the bag. Then uh, another uh, variant for number two. Love that. Love the, uh, love vision on that. And then I think this was the find. Uh, basically they got the fear itself, the Billy Tan variant, uh, number five, the Iron Man variant. And it, last time I checked this, this goes for like, I think like 20, 30 bucks or it did when I checked last time. So it was kind of cool get it for nothing in mint condition. Always fun. Uh, this was a find that I got for a dollar, and uh, I've got the normal cover too as well, but uh, issue number 18 of Captain America, this is the one uh, for breast cancer right before the uh, relaunch into Marvel Now. Uh, and then we are getting into movie covers. And this is the end of the variants, is the movie cover, so this just finished up. So I'm sure, sure some of you are familiar with it. So we'll start off with, uh, I don't know what number this is. Because I don't I don't actually pull this comic. I love the cover. But this is uh, Justice League. I'm sure it's 30 something. Uh, but yeah, making fun of Magic Mike. I thought that was brilliant. And then we have uh, Superman. And this is making fun of Superfly. I've actually ordered the t-shirt of this as well. I'm a big Superfly fan. Curtis, big Curtis Mayfield fan. So definitely was pumped about that. Happy to get this one now that I see a lot of people are willing to pay money for it. And it was running out. Uh, but I did get Batman uh, mocking the mask. Sorry about the glare. Then we have Aquaman. I don't pull this comic, but it's Free Willy. How can you not? How can you not love it? And then we have uh, Justice League Dark. Uh, mimicking the Beetlejuice cover. I love that. Batgirl. Mimicking Purple Rain, of course. Green Lantern, and it mimicked uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. Justice League United, I did pick this up because Mars Attacks cover. Then uh, Action Comics, the Bill and Ted uh, mock cover. And then my favorite of the entire thing, which was uh, Teen Titans uh, mimicking the Lost Boys. I thought that was the best one they did. 
just awesome, awesome. So that's all the uh, variant, uh, all my variants out of the box. Uh, so my next video, I'm probably going to do uh, part one of, it's probably going to be 10 or 11 of my collection video. Um, I, I'm going to do it different. I think I'm going to start it backwards instead of everyone starts at the numbers and A, B, C. I think I'm going to start backwards and start at Z and go up. Um, so yeah, that'll be the next thing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I think we're two away from 100. Once I hit 100, I'm going to do a contest. Um, like it. Comment. I want to know what were your favorite variants out of what I showed you. What were your favorite variants that I don't have that maybe you picked up or you really want? Um, or just comment and say hi because I'll say hi right back because, like I said, broken ankle. It's not like I can do anything. I'm just sitting here. Uh, other than that, make sure to check, check the description. I'll leave the link to uh, the Facebook group and the Twitter account for uh, our Geek Speed Collective. Uh, we're coming back tomorrow with a live show. Um, but we've been doing that bi-weekly where we talk about comics, comic book movies, comic book television. Everything to do with comics, video games, movies, just geek culture in general. Uh, so make sure you like it on Facebook, at, you know, uh, follow us on Twitter. If you have Instagram, at Biggie Halls, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting pictures of comic book stuff. So thank you for watching. We're almost at 22 minutes. Thank you for sticking in. It's good to be back. I'm tr going to try to be back more now that I got more time. See you later.